I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. I am receiving tons of questions regarding low testosterone levels. I didn't realize this was an epidemic in the 20 to 30 year old range. I think everybody is so uptight because they see it on TV. And that's what Madison Avenue or the world of marketing is supposed to do. It's supposed to wound you and heal you, scare the crap out of you so you buy their products. Now I'm not a doctor and I'm not a testosterone expert, but let me give you a little information about testosterone before you go running to the doctor to have yours tested. Testosterone levels, like cholesterol levels, fluctuate. Now testosterone is made from cholesterol. Now don't go out and start eating tons of eggs and red meat because we get more than enough cholesterol in our average daily normal diet. People think that testosterone is made from fat. If they have a low-fat diet, they're going to be in trouble because they're not going to make any testosterone. That's not true. It's made from cholesterol. And you know what? A low-fat diet would be a great thing because low-fat or a lower-fat diet helps keep your arteries clear of cholesterol and plaque so you don't have a heart attack and so you can have sex until the age of 90. But with regards to testosterone, Here's what happens. As your testosterone levels begin to drop, the hypothalamus says, whoa, levels are going low. So it has gonadotropin releasing hormone. It releases that. And that causes the pituitary to release follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. This then causes the testes to produce testosterone. Amazing. Then as your testosterone levels rise or increase, a negative feedback mechanism comes into play and the body goes, whoa, our levels of testosterone are rising. We need to cut the production of these hormones so the production of testosterone will diminish or decrease. So what that means is this. Your testosterone levels are not level and flat. They fluctuate like this, kind of like your mood. Some days it'll be higher, some days it'll be lower. Some weeks it'll be higher, some weeks it'll be lower. So if you go to the doctor and get your testosterone checked and it's too low, before he hits you with low T and creams and pills and shots and all that stuff, a good doctor would say, hey, let's check this in another three months and see if it's not higher. Just like they would do with your cholesterol. If your cholesterol is too high, a good doctor would say, hey, let's check this in three to six months to see if it comes out a little lower. So again, for all these guys who are worried about their testosterone levels, keep that in mind. And you know, there are lots of suggestions on how testosterone could be increased. Oh, eating seafood or oysters because they contain zinc. If you have more sunshine, it produces more vitamin D and that increases testosterone production. But you know, the one thing that increases testosterone production, that's heavy, hard, consistent lifting with enough recovery. So keep that in mind. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.